Just hanging outside at Starbucks. It's uh, it's hot outside today, so a lot of people are inside. Everyone's inside today. Inside and hanging out. But um, I'm doing well today. Thank you for asking. I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's practicing their TOEFL words as well. I hope everyone's been practicing this week. I uploaded the YouTube lesson or the lessons from Periscope. I put the lesson for ruse, the word ruse, and the word stagnant on YouTube today. So I will be adding more videos after this video ends, after I get done with this lesson. So look, uh, watch those videos on YouTube for more practice. So I'm having a great day so far. I'm getting ready to exercise later today after today's lesson. I'm having a late exercise day and um, I've been very good about staying active and being energized and continuing to exercise. So um, I thought I would do a word that is kind of funny, a word that I don't want to do and the word is cease, to cease. So cease is spelled C-E-A-S-E, -E, cease, to cease. And this means to put an end to a state or an activity. So this means to stop doing something. To cease means to stop doing something. Now if you watch movies a lot, a lot of action movies or war movies, you will hear the phrase cease fire, to cease fire. And this means to stop shooting or there's a ceasefire. So the war stops for a short time or the battle stops for a short time. They stop people from fighting, so a ceasefire. But to cease means to stop doing something, to end doing something. Um, so I've got some examples for you. So why I did cease was because I don't want to cease working out. I don't want to stop working out because this would make me fat and lazy and I would stop being healthy. And if I were to cease doing videos for you, then you wouldn't have any more lessons. I would stop doing the lessons. I would finish doing the lessons. And this isn't good either. This is not good to cease doing something, to cease doing something that you are doing and is good for you. So my examples, I have several examples for this word. The first one is, we may cease to exist at any moment. So this means we might stop existing at any moment. It could just end. We could end at any moment. So if you think about, a good example is the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, big monster, rah, 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 dinosaurs from like Jurassic Park. Well, a giant comet, a giant, giant rock came and hit the earth. And after it hit the earth, it killed all the dinosaurs. So the dinosaurs ceased to exist. So the dinosaurs ceased to exist because a meteor hit the earth and killed all the dinosaurs. So they stopped existing. So people use this word a lot between two countries. Yes, this is a common phrase between two countries to cease a ceasefire. This means that they decided they want to get along. They want to get along and um, to uh, on an agreement that they won't fight anymore. Um, so it's, to cease does not mean, I was asked, does to cease mean to finish? What is the difference? To cease means to just end abruptly, which means to end something just right in that moment, to end. To finish is usually good, so you're, you're working on something, you're finishing something. So if you cease doing something, it often means you don't finish doing that. You don't finish doing that. Instead, it means that you're just stopping immediately. You're stopping right then. So let's say I'm writing an essay. A good example is writing an essay. So I'm writing an essay and I, I cease writing. This means I just stop in the middle of writing my essay. I stop at any point. But if I finish my essay, I finish it. I complete my essay. So to cease means to just stop, to stop abruptly, to stop quickly, um, to stop at that moment. To finish means you finish the whole thing. You take however long it takes to finish the essay or to finish anything that you'd be working on. So it's it's similar to um, it's sim similar to interrupt, but when you cease, you choose to cease. It's personal. You you chose. I'm done. I'm ceasing. When you're interrupted, usually someone else interrupts your work. So to cease means to just stop doing something. So my other example: the fighting ceased 
at least for a short moment. So this means that fighting stopped for a short moment. So let's say they put down their guns and they agreed to get along one day. They agreed to get along. So they put down their guns, they stopped fighting. So it ceased for a moment. The fighting stopped. But then the fighting might start later, but it means it just stopped for a short moment. So another fun one, if you want someone to stop doing something, you can say, I order you to cease. I order you to cease. And this means I order you to stop now. I order you to stop doing what you are doing. So if one of your friends is annoying you or irritating you, you can say, I order you to cease. I order you to stop. And you can say this, it's very funny, it's very dramatic. Usually you just say, I order you to stop, but you can say, I order you to cease. And this means stop in a very, very um, assertive way, in a very serious way. So this is another way to use the word. And then I have one last example. I have many examples for this. So this is an old Greek proverb, an old Greek proverb, which means it came from like someone from Greece, and it's a quote, a quote from someone in Greece, a famous person. And it says, he who ceases to be a friend never was one. So this means that if you stop being friends with someone else, you never were really a friend. This means that friends are around till the end. They will always be your friend. But if you stop being someone's friend, you never really were their friend. You never really were a true friend if you stop being their friend. So cease to stop doing something, to stop or to end doing something. So to put an end to a state or an activity. Um, to cease, we use it sometimes in casual life, but it's very uncommon. This is a serious word. It's, um, it's an older word. So if you watch one of my favorite, Game of Thrones, you will hear them say this word a lot. I order you to cease. Or he ceased doing something. Tyrion, the little, um, the short guy, the, um, the um, dwarf, says this a lot, to cease. So C-E-A-S-E. -E. So you can cease working or cease doing something. But it is, it is not a casual word. It's more formal. So this is the word for the day, to cease, to cease doing something, to stop doing something. So do I have any questions for today's word or for later words? It's a very formal word. It's a formal word. So do I have any questions for today? When do I use like such as to compare something or people? So if I'm going to, so this is, um, this is kind of depends on the situation, but if you're comparing someone to something, you can say that person looks like a hippo or that person looks like a shark. Um, so it's more common to say like, so that person looks like this or that person looks like that or that person acts like this, that person acts like that. So that person acts like a jerk, or that person acts like an idiot. So it's very more common to say like. Um, such as is not very common. So if you want to be safe, use like. Do I have any more questions? Fire away. Thank you for the hearts. To fire away, when I just said that, to fire away means to just throw questions at me, to ask me questions. What am I eating? Um, I have a Starbucks coffee. Sorry, I like to eat ice. It's bad for my teeth, but I love chewing on ice. It's a bad habit. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if I confused you. I'm going to put my sunglasses back on. It's very, very hot and sunny. So what's the difference between how come and why? Um, how come, you're asking like, why isn't that happening? It's like, how come he didn't want to go to dinner with me? You're saying, why didn't he want to go to dinner with me? You can use both. Um, how come is a bit awkward. People don't ask this very often in English. It's more why, why didn't he want to do this with me? Is more common. So again, this is, very, this is a more common use. It's very similar, though. Pretty much the same thing. 
Um, and I got Starbucks. I get an iced coffee um, just with milk. I like iced coffee and milk. I'm sitting reading and working and I'm reading Tony Robbins' book on money and taking notes. So do I have any more questions for today about anything? Oh, so what about my novel? What about my book? So I am writing a book about AMP English. The book won't be teaching English. I will be incorporating, I will be using TOEFL words in some of my writing, but it will be simpler. It'll be a simpler read, but it's a more of a self-help and self-growth book. So I will be outlining some of the lessons we teach, like um, attitude, money, mindset, and persuasion. So it'll be to be a successful young person or successful person in general. It'll be more like a Tony Robbins book. So self-help, how to be successful, how to succeed. And it will talk a lot about AMP English and about my personal experience and other people that I know who are successful's personal experience. I will use a lot about AJ too. So do I say I have to do a payment or I have to make a payment? Um, it is to say, it's, it's more common to say I have to make a payment. So I have to make a payment. To make a payment is the more uh, common. So will the book be an audio format? Um, I will talk to AJ about that, but I'm assuming, I'm guessing that it will be, that we will put it in an audio format. I would like it to be an audio so it's easier for students to learn English while they're reading along. And I might read it myself. <laughs> How many pages will it be? Um, it will probably be around 120, 130 pages. So about the, a normal book length. So do I have my website ready yet, the AMP English website? It will launch in a couple months. It's not ready yet. They're working on it.